In today's video, we're going to kick off the build series on the 93 convertible with a couple simple interior mods. The steering wheel and seats are a great place to start, considering these are items you come in contact with every time you drive the car. So let's go ahead and get started by removing the old steering wheel. The first step is to remove the horn pad, which simply pulls straight off and has one electrical connector to undo. With that out of the way, you can loosen the 19mm nut holding the steering wheel on. Once you have it loose, go ahead and break the steering wheel free. Make sure the steering wheel is positioned straight, and then finish removing the nut and wheel from the steering column. Now we can install the new hub adapter. Make sure these two posts are at the 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock positions so that your turn signal canceller still works properly. Go ahead and start the 19mm nut, but don't worry about tightening it for now. Next, to make sure that the steering wheel was spaced out properly, I installed a 2-inch spacer. A lot of people will opt for a quick release here, but that's not a feature that I needed and I wanted to avoid any chance of adding unnecessary play in the steering, so I kept it simple and went with the solid spacer. Once you have all six screws started, you can tighten them all down in a star pattern. The steering wheel I chose for this car is a Momo Prototipo. I've liked these for a while and thought this would be a good car to try one out on. Just like the spacer, once you have all six screws started, tighten everything down in a star pattern. With the steering wheel now in place, we can go ahead and tighten the 19mm nut holding everything on. Rather than using the supplied Momo horn button, I chose to use a Nismo one that I already had. Simply connect the positive and ground wires and pop the horn button in place. The final step is a quick check to make sure the turn signal canceller and horn work properly. Everything checked out, so now we'll move to the seats. Start by removing the four seat rail bolts. Disconnect the seat belt connector and the seat is ready to come out. I chose to go with a set of S14 seats, and while these are a direct fit, you'll need to swap out the seat belt buckles with your original S13 ones. Once you have that swapped out, it's pretty much just the reverse of taking out the old seat. Plug in the seat belt connector and reinstall the four bolts holding it in. Here's a quick comparison of the S13 and 14 seats side by side. While it may not look like a drastic change, these new seats were in much better condition than my old ones, and S14 seats are also much more comfortable in my opinion. So now, just repeat the same steps for the passenger side. Here are a few pictures of the finished product. There will definitely be more changes coming for the interior in the future, but these two simple changes already have it looking much better and made it a more enjoyable place to be. I have some ideas for other things I'd like to do, but I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see done next. And like always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.